And I've told people on the airwaves, if I don't play your music, if you send me your music and I don't play it, that means I don't wait. Oh, heard it here. <laughs> so, <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> so. Hey guys, Nikisha Lindo here from Moments One on One. And today we have a special guest, the boss himself, Rico Live. What's up, Rico? Hey, good to be here. <laughs> Well, the tables have certainly turned here, yes, everyone. Yes. Um, normally, he's the one interviewing me, but today, I'm in charge. How does that feel? <laughs> Over the years, hmm, this is different. <laughs> All right, so how did you come to the vision that you wanted to have your own radio station? Like, what made you think you wanted to start that? Wow, that's a funny story. You know, I was, I was actually interviewing Benji Myers, and Benji Myers said to me, you know, uh, do you know that internet radio gets a lot of hits a lot, you know it was like there was one internet radio station in California that played his music and was number one he had a number one song there and it got over a million hits mm -hmm. and I'm like really and so he said yeah you should start your own radio so basically long story short Benji Myers was the one who inspired me to get my own radio station all right so that's how you pretty much realized that you the internet radio would be a good way to go right. With right. things. Okay. I mean, when I, when I started internet, nobody was doing it. They were doing internet, but they were doing a lot of underground. And everybody was saying, oh, why are you going to just do internet and internet only? And I was like, you know, the, you know, it, it's, it's, it's the future. But it's worked out and good it, for you. It works out good for me. That was, <laughs> that was 10 years ago now. True. Do you ever look at yourself and just say, I'm lit because I'm a boss and nah, <laughs> I do. I don't even use the word lit and, and, and all those. Those are those are y'all type words. I, I don't use those type of words. I just I just focus on what I got to do and the boss thing. You know. I, so I you're never, very I humble. You're very. See, this is what I like about you. You're very humble. <laughs> <laughs> So we have the director. We, we have the director off off camera and, yeah, and shouting Singing words. Kendrick yeah. Lamar. So you're very humble. Yeah. You're a very even tempered person. Like, have you ever just gotten just angry and just cussed someone out before? Of course. <laughs> not 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 you know not on the radio or anything like that. You know, cussed them off off the radio. I just can't even like, imagine you like. Oh, yeah, I, I, I do that all the time. All the time. Oh I do that God. to a lot of artists and stuff when they you know if we're, <laughs> and their management company. But you know, I'd never let them know that. Speaking of artists. I know that you have a very respected opinion in the music industry. I know that you get a lot of artists sending you their music, asking right. you for your opinion. Have you ever had to tell someone that their music was not good? How did you handle that? Um, <laughs> I, I have, over the years I have, and I would just try to find a nice way of telling them that it's just not, it's just not up to par. You know, I've, I've never really put anybody down in terms of being derogatory to them. But I've had to tell quite a few people that their music is just not up to par. And, and I've told people on the airwaves, if I don't play your music, if you send me your music and I don't play it, that means I don't wait. Oh, heard it here. <laughs> so, <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, and you know, if you listen to my shows over the years, you know when I, when I rate somebody, when I rate an artist, you know, when I rate a song, I play it a lot. Everybody knows me. If I, if I rate something, I play it a lot. You play it a lot. And, and that's what I also like about you, because you play stuff because you're really feeling it. Yeah. You love the music. I want to ask you, you know, you know that in reggae music and probably in other genres, a lot of DJs or radio stations won't play an artist's music unless they get money, they get paid, right, doves, right, right. things like that. Right. This happens to everyone all the time. So what are your thoughts on that? I, I don't respect that. You know, I think I think it should be all about the music and the music only. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna play a song, you like it, play it. You know, and I've, over the years I've gotten where people just automatically send me dubs. I will look into my email, and I get dubs, I get drops and stuff like that. So, I don't I don't ever tell anyone you got to pay me or you got to do this or you got to do that. Mm -hmm. Send me the music, I'll play. Right. It doesn't matter who you are. See, I respect that. I respect that. I think that's what, that's what messing up the music industry, especially yeah. in Jamaica. And I say it, you know, in Jamaica, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to stop anybody's food, but that's what builds music in Jamaica. That's why a lot of music, real music, does not get played in Jamaica. I anymore. Mean, I can see that. Yeah, that anymore. could definitely happen because yeah. if they're not, if they don't have either the money to pay or right. they're just not right. willing to pay, right. their stuff is not going to get played and people exactly. won't hear the good music. And so. a lot of good artists do, does not get exposed right. because of the fact that they don't, they can't afford it. Right. And that's sad. Yeah, it is. Definitely. I definitely sad. agree with that. Now, not only are you the CEO of, of The Flavor Radio, mm -hmm. You're a DJ, well-respected right. DJ, Natural Vibe Sound. But aside from that, yeah. you also do photography. How yes. did you get into photography? Um, about 15 years ago, I started a website. And um, I was looking for a photographer. And I had a few people who was doing photography for me. But I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. You know, I like things yeah. a certain way. Yeah. And 
they just wasn't doing it the way I wanted it to be done. And I was looking at other websites and I said, oh, how come their picture looks so nice and mine looked like this? So I, I actually went and, and, and learned it and decided wow. to, to do photography myself. And I always liked it anyway, from even before I had a website. So mm -hmm. it, it's just, for me, it's a hobby and I, you know, I just started getting paid for it. So yeah, I, just, I mean, you know. I definitely know because, listen, y'all, every time that he gets a new camera equipment, yeah. a new lens, yeah. he be calling me like, it's time to do a photo shoot. I'm like, yeah. okay. This, this is my guinea pig right here. No, 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 no I'm the tester. Intended. I was a tester. Yeah, you know? I was testing out all the lenses and stuff, you know. Yeah. Now, we're going to play a little game called Would You Rather. Do you okay. know how to play that? I guess I'll find out. <laughs> so I, will, I, will, I, I will give you like two options. Like, would you mm. rather this or this? And okay. you have to tell me which one you rather. Okay? okay. Would you rather be a little late or way too early? Um, if anybody knows me, they'll know that's way too early. Yes. Way too early. <laughs> <laughs> For me, yeah. I'd definitely rather be a little bit late, but knowing but, but, but me, I'd probably be a lot of late. That's, 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 that's characteristic of a female. Females just like to be fashionably late. Listen, it's not that I like to be. Don't say that about me. I, I want to be on time, Listen, but the, I can't. I've known her six, seven, eight years, and she's always late. I don't know about before eight years. <laughs> now, would you rather find true love or find a million dollars? True love. I think that's the same for me. Yeah, it's priceless. Would you rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors? Wow. <laughs> Where do you get these questions? Um, noisy neighbors or nosy neighbors? Mm -hmm. um, probably nosy neighbors. Noisy, I, I, when I want to sleep, I want to sleep. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so noisy neighbors, I'm, noise doesn't yeah. really bother me, you know. Nosy doesn't bother me. Yeah, like, they could be nosy, they're not going to find nothing else. Exactly, so, <laughs> exactly. You know, and but the noise, I can't they'll only They only see what you want them to see. Exactly. Would you rather be broke at a job you love or be rich at a job you hate? Uh, broke at a job. That's a perfect example of me now. I used to be a paralegal for many years, and I made very good money, but I quit that to make way less <laughs> now that I'm making that. But I'm doing what I love to exactly. do. Exactly, so, so that's, it doesn't that's, seem like know, a job. No. Nah. I agree with that. That's me too. Okay. Would you rather be a star player on a losing team mm -hmm. or be on the bench on a winning team? Wow. Star player on a losing team. <laughs> um, be on the bench on a winning team. Why? Because, you know, you want to be, you want to surround yourself with winners. You know, and, and, and yeah. e even if you're on the bench, you're still contributing something. That's, that's just how I feel. You're still contributing something. But if you're, if you're the star, then I'm not the person to always want the spotlight on me. Mm. So if you're a star on a, on a losing team, you're just one person. Yeah, a team right. is a team. You're a team player. Good for you. <laughs> Would you rather date someone you met online or go on a blind date set up by a friend? Blind date set up by a friend. Because Why? Because they know you? Because they know me. And they, 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 they know what I would or wouldn't like. You know, but um, uh, dating on a line, nah. Blind date set up by a friend. I would rather date someone I met online because at least I spoke to them. Like, <laughs> would you rather mentally or physically never age? Um, mentally. Me too. Me too. Mentally. Definitely. Would you rather always say everything that's on your mind or never speak again? Well, I'm, if if you know me, um, I, I might find a nice way to put things, <laughs> but I pretty much always say what's on my mind. Okay, okay, I feel you. <laughs> I don't even know for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm just saying. I mean, okay, what if you couldn't have a filter? Like, if you didn't have a filter, yeah, I'll just say what I have to say. Still say it? Yeah. True, true. I don't, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, I guess I would just say it. Pretty much. I, I'm, I'm I mean, pretty. I, I mean, again, I'll try to find a nice way to put it. Yeah. Try not to hurt people's feelings, but at the end of the day, I just, I, gotta, I, say I, I, I just gotta say what I gotta say. Real. <laughs> would you rather always be gossiped about or never talked about? Well, you know, in the business that I'm in, you know, you you, you if you're never being that. talked about, it then, is then, not good. It's not good. So, <laughs> exactly. So you you know, I, I always be gossiped always about. Always be gossiped yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Would you rather have the ability to take back anything you say or hear what other people think? Wow, take back anything I say. I, don't, I mean, if, if I say it, you know, especially since I've gotten older, if I say it, then I, I want to say it. <laughs> true, so, true. So, the second one, take You'd back. You'd rather yeah, take, hear what people hear think. Hear what people think, yeah. What if, like, you couldn't turn it off? Like, you just hear what everybody's thinking? Like, you still Like that it. movie, right? Um, yes, um, What Women with, Want with, with Mel with Gibson, Mel Gibson, right? yeah. Yes. What Women Want. What if it was um, like that? <laughs> I would like that, because really? sometimes you want to know what people think about you. Sometimes you want to see... Separate nah. the sheaves from the wolves, type of thing. I don't want to know. You don't want to know? <laughs> nah. Because, like, maybe if I could turn it, might it off. It be something good. Maybe if I could turn it off and, like, be selective. Mm. You know what I mean? But if I had to just walk around and, like, every time you see somebody, you know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like, 
No, no, no. All right, so it's been such a pleasure. How do people get in contact with you if they want? Oh, wow. I mean, I'm, I'm all over social media. Mm -hmm. um, Rico Vibes on Instagram, uh, Rico Vibes on Facebook. I got two Facebook pages, so Rico Vibes on Facebook, um, one and two. The Reggae Scene, The Flavor Radio, I'm, I'm everywhere. On SoundCloud, I'm Rico Vibes. So it's, it's, it's the branding, Just Rico, Rico Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> well, it's been so nice. Thanks for chilling mm -hmm. with me on this episode of Moments yes, 101. Yes. And I get the second episode. Wow. Exactly. I, I feel honored. You do? <laughs> I do. It sounds kind of to sarcastic. Be, be, no, 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 no. <laughs> to, be, to be included, I really do feel honored. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, you know, I had to put you on. You are the boss. Uh, Last time I was being interviewed <laughs> like this was when I went to Gambia and, and, and ENC interviewed me. Um, I saw uh, that. Yeah, so. That was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Wait, no, but before we leave, y'all, yeah. okay, so Rico's in South Florida right now, and my brother, Kashif Lindo, has been challenging him to basketball since he found out he was coming down here. And it all started from an interview. Yes. Kashif was on, what's he the was show, y'all, Thursday the Valentine, show? Oh, the, the cafe, the Flavor Cafe. The Flavor Cafe. Yeah before he did his show in Atlanta. And it all started from there. And now they're gonna have some sort of basketball yeah. duel. I, I don't know, but and, I will and, be recording and, that. And, and, and people, Nikisha <laughs> is, obviously she's got a root for her brother. But when we were in Atlanta, and and she 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 didn't even back me in Atlanta. It, listen, it, 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 listen. I, I I didn't I didn't expect I didn't respect that at all. Listen, man. I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna have to beat up on her brother just to show her that you need to back a winner. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see that. I'm definitely going to record it and we'll let y'all know what happens. But in the meantime, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Great being here. All right, y'all. See you next time.